Hello, my name is Keith Thompson with the Armadale Church of Christ here in Western Australia. And we're happy to have you back here with us again. We're studying through the book of James. We're in chapter two, and we're having a look at just one aspect of it, faith. Now, there are many people who realize that faith is important. Faith is integral to our salvation as Christians. But what is saving faith? James in James 2 verse 14 says this, What use is it, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but has no works? Can that faith save him? Now, this is a good question. Can that faith save him? Now, there are people with no faith. There are people with weak faith. There are people with strong faith. And there are people with dead faith. What faith saves us? Well, when we ask a Bible question, it's important that we don't decide for ourselves. A Bible question needs a Bible answer, and that's what we're all about. Now, people get caught up talking about we're saved by works or by we're saved by faith. I put it to you that it is somewhere in the middle. Let's, go, let's look at uh, what James says in James 2 and verse 19. It says, You believe that God is one, you do well. The demons also believe and shudder. Now, from that, we can see that simply believing isn't enough. The demons believe they know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but they're not saved. What does the Lord Jesus say about this? In Matthew 7 and verse 21, we read this. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. Now, this is very clear what Jesus is saying. It's not good enough just to say that Jesus is your Lord, but you've got to follow through with it. The way Jesus says it, you've got to do the will of the Father who is in heaven. The will is found in the New Testament. We've got to do what the New Testament tells us. As we go on down in James, let's look at James 1, 24. It says, you see that a man is justified by works and not by faith alone. Well, this puts, us very clearly, puts it very clearly that faith only is not going to save us. We are not saved by faith alone or faith only, but we are saved by our faith doing the works that Jesus has asked us to. Now, verse 26, the end of chapter 2, says, For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. Now, we're not saved by faith only. Equally, we're not saved by works only. But we are saved by a faith that on, not only believes that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, that, that faith causes us to obey what he says, to do the works of the Father who is in heaven. In the end of Matthew chapter 7, Jesus talks about the wise man who built his house upon the rock. And the rains descended and the floods came and bashed against that house and it didn't fall because it had been founded on the rock. Jesus, Jesus says, this is a man who hears my words and obeys them. That's the saving faith. Faith that hears the words of Christ and obeys them and does what they say. Well, thank you once again for joining us. Now, if you have any questions about a saving faith, why don't you write to us in the comments below and we'll get right back to you. We look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye for now.